Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. Last time I hinted that we might want to prove for certain that God wants people to have information about him. This is the kind of information that's hard to get if all you have to study are the people, though, so instead, I decided to approach this from the other end. If we want to know what God wants people to know, the best way is to figure out what he's all about, what his motives are, and in particular, why he created the universe. That's what today's big question is. Why did God make the universe? Did God make the universe for selfish reasons? All of God's properties are infinite. When a property is infinite, it can't be decreased by taking anything away from it. You also can't increase it by adding anything to it. In short, God can't be benefited in any way by adding anything to himself or his properties. Since possessions and properties can't do anything to benefit God, it would be impossible for him to act out of selfishness. Selfishness is taking action to benefit yourself, and since God can't possibly benefit himself as long as he remains infinite, it's logically impossible for God to act selfishly. That covers a lot of ground. For one thing, I've heard people say they thought God was greedy, wanting a certain number of souls, sadistic, wanting the suffering of others, or at least needing to help others somehow. Problem is, this doesn't really make sense. If you recognize that God is infinite, that means that our suffering, our delight, our help, or even our souls aren't really going to benefit him in any way. In fact, nothing we do or say in or after our lives will really have any impact on him in terms of giving him something he needs or robbing him of something he wanted. Because of this, we know that God can't act out of selfishness. So aside from selfish motivations, there are really only a few others left. The big ones are kindness, insanity, opposing evil, and charity. Did God create the universe because he wanted to be kind to his creations? Obviously not. If that were the purpose of creating the universe, it would have been fulfilled. You see, the difference between kindness and charity is this. Charity is the commitment to do the things that you know will make things turn out better in the end for the ones you love. Kindness is a commitment to just be nice and civil to the one you love. If the purpose of creating the universe had been kindness of that sort, nothing bad would ever have happened to even a single human being, because the whole point of existence would be to repeatedly receive nice things and be nice in return. A lot of people think this about God, but it's a paper-thin belief, because it doesn't explain how evil could exist. Evil does exist, therefore this sort of kindness wasn't God's motive for creating the universe. Insanity is one possible unselfish reason for doing something, but it's not possible for God because it's just a deprivation of sanity, and when something is infinitely good, it can't suffer from deprivations. Some people think that the whole point of God's existence is to oppose evil. While this is a tempting belief, it's also impossible to support, partly for the same reasons I listed in relation to kindness, but for another reason as well, namely that this belief proposes that God made the universe to do something he couldn't do on his own. But, as we've already proven, God has infinite power and can therefore do anything that can be done without any help. Therefore, God didn't create the universe to oppose evil. This only leaves charity, the determination to do what will most benefit others. God created the universe out of charity. This proves that not only is charity a property of God, but an infinite property of God. Therefore, that God cares infinitely about everyone else, including his lowest creations. Now, human beings have the ability to perceive the truth. Therefore, it's best for human beings to be able to perceive as much of the truth as they can. And since God wants what's best for his creations, he wants us to perceive more of the truth. Since he is the author of the truth, therefore, one of the things that he wants is for us to come to a greater understanding of him and his creation alike. Now, since God wants this, he wants it infinitely, and therefore it's impossible for him not to reveal himself to mankind on some level. Since God must reveal himself to mankind by his nature, this proves that at least one of mankind's religions is correct. So, on the subject of religion, only one last logical deduction remains. Question, is the Roman Catholic Church the true religion? If the Roman Catholic Church isn't the true religion, no one is. By virtue of God's nature, a true religion must exist to give people fuller knowledge of him. Therefore, the true religion is the Roman Catholic Church. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.